This week on Twende, we continue our journey in Embu where we get to confront some of our fears. We hope you do not have acrophobia because we are taking to new heights. We will help you tackle aquaphobia in the dams as we will show you the power of water. From, from the, surface, the, the surface of the water, yeah. where Kiambere is 150 meters deep. 150 meters from the surface. And we will take you to the park with the highest concentration of elephants in a single area in Africa. Yes, it is found here in Embu. I've never been this close to this, this number of giraffes you know, at the same time. I just look at this guy. He's an Akaka boss man. For this episode, we start on a high. This landmark presents a visual pause to our viewer before the meandering eye proceeds to experience the rest of the landscape. Karua Hill is such a landmark. So, Akuna Venya Tuneza Kuja Embu, Natukose Kufanya hike. So, here there's a 15 minute hike up. It's a very visible landmark on your way to Renyenges. Just before Tufike Ena town, yeah? So we took a left turn. Na, ndo sisi hapa tunaenda. I'm just like maybe four minutes in and I'm already out of breath. But just look at that view. It's worth it, isn't it? Tatukisema, something took your breath away because of how beautiful it is. Ukikuja embu, it's literal. Literal. It is a moderate hill that particularly draws its popularity from its vantage position. On the way up, I was so moved by the view that Ilibidini Pigia, one of my closest homies. Hello. My son, Hello. how are you? I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> let me show you something. Look. Wow! Wow! <laughs> are you seeing that? Yeah? Wow! There's just something about hills, altitude, that just gives me so much energy. And I love the fact that we're meeting in Barabara Apa. So if we do not want the loose road, if you don't want that experience, you can have this one. Manze, Karoa Hills can give you options. It has very unique rock formations. So we are here with this amazing view. Asante ni sana. Kuna ngombe na tusalimia. I can see Embu. Actually, I think, I mean, let's own a bit to mob. The two villas only boundaries. Upper Karoe Hill, which is around 1700 meters above sea level. Yeah, we just Googled that. <laughs> I mean, the view is just. Ah, Gioneni.
Being up here makes me appreciate life in its totality. It's a great place to reflect and meditate. Today the hill is popular for romantic picnics due to its serenity, but it is also used for prayers by different religious groups. <laughs> In our earlier episodes, we showed you River Thiba and River Rupingazi. These two are significant in our story since they are the source of water for where we are going next. This is Highway B7, Embu Siakago Road. This road offers you the perfect drive. In the morning, we enter a misty eye of the mountain below. This place is really hot, so when you do come here, make sure you don't have more sun. But I'm very sour. But come you're one of those guys who you just want to take a bicycle ride as a couple, as a group of people. Eco sour. The road is good. This is Embu Sub County on the south, known as Mbere South. Here we find the Seven Forks Dam. In short, happened your Stimayenu in a talk? Najua mnajua from your GHC kuna five dams. That's Kamburu, Gitaru, Kiambere, Kindaruma, and Masinga. Sembu say Ohio. Most of us toured these hydro plants to Kiwa High School. Now we probably don't remember much, right? By the way, why the name Seven Forks? Is it Fokia R or Fokia L? In your assignment to you, Twendarians, Ebukwa Mukifikiria, before to Ambie. Hapa Twende, you and I were visited some of these places for the first time, even for me. Nasasa took in one of the most electrifying locations in this whole country. In fact, come a rock and get up and get one Do you smell what the rock is cooking? And get one a pick and a steamer. No steaming, get one a talk up. Hello. Hello. Well, welcome, El Safan. Thank you very much. Uh, this is my Singapore station. Mm -hmm. Now you are well there. Now I'm ready. Opened officially in 1981. It is the largest of the five and it is located on the border of Embu and Machakos counties. Masinga is a main reservoir that feeds the other dams starting with Kamburu. It's good to note that this is not a tourist attraction. One has to have proper documentation and approvals to access this facility. So Musiende hapo mukidaya tituliambia muende. Aya basi, tuingie kwa power. Yes. A generating unit has Four main parts. Okay. There is the exciter part. Exciter. Yes, the excitation part. Okay. There is the generator. You'll not see it because it's covered. Okay. Then there is the turbine. Yeah. And there is the governor. Ukweli wa mambo. I knew power is complex, but I had no idea that power generation was this elaborate. So this is our turbine flow. Yeah. We'll not be able to see the turbine. Okay. The, itself. Yeah. Because the turbine is assembly of the runner. The guide vents and the control system that is there, yeah. but it is down here. What happens is water from upstream, yeah. from the dam level, comes and rotates this way, rotates the turbine that way. Okay. Then the water falls down in what we call drop tube. But for your purposes, just be aware of the tail rest. Okay. Then it exits and proceeds back to the river. Yeah. You saw water outside our powerhouse. Yeah. To proceed now to the next station in the casket. From the different machines to the processes to me being able to charge my phone in the house. That's like ini nini. So this is our tail race. Tail? Tail race. Tail race. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. water after being used 
to spin yeah. the machine, yeah. it is conveyed through this route to the other down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so now this one is going to the, to to the, the next down, which okay. is Kamburu. These are part of us. Oh, they are part of yeah, you. Yeah, it is nature. <laughs> Fishing is not allowed here, but there are some bird individuals who do not follow the rules. The egrets have mastered picking the fish. Here the spectacle is seen the massive water body Bila Kwenda coast. So tuliwapatia assignment ya kujua origin ya Gina 7 Fox. Sasa ni wakati wa kuexchange vitabu na kumark assignment. It's called uh, 7 Fox. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Sa ni fork ya kama fork. <laughs> ama ni fork ya what? F A L K ama F O L K. Ama and then also is it 7 because of the 7 dams and then now the two are silent. Unajua vile kuna jina iko na letter but then it is silent. Yes, yes. So w what is it? Interesting question. Yeah. Uh, actually it is fork F O R K. Aha. Uh -huh. Some people write F O L K. Yeah. The name yeah. comes from the shape of the river between yeah. Gitaru Outfall yeah. and Kindaruma Dam. Uh -huh. uh, the river forks out yeah. into fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah. And those fingers are? Are uh, seven, oh, especially seven. during the rainy season. When it oh, has okay. rain, you'll see all the small streams <laughs> that uh, collect again into okay. Kindaruma Dam. Ongapi mulipata? Aya, ongeza sukari kwa chai, you earned it. Among the seven dams is Kambere that boasts of being the deepest and has a tunnel down to the turbines. At first, we are going to too, only to realize that we are going down 150 meters below sea level. Yes, so Saizi, we are with Engineer Ketaka and this is the access tunnel to the Kambere station. Kambere Power Plant. Kambere Power Plant. Yeah. Aya. Twende. This is amazing. I always thought the Ngara tunnel was long, but in this one we get to drive for a full minute. Hapa kuna kuchukua lift down. We drive the cruiser right down to the station. And how is this for driving right into your office? Make sure don't go to this. Kiambere power station, not only power station, Kiambere power station. Kiambere power station. Yes, 168 megawatt plant. 168 megawatts. Megawatt plant. So, Masinga is 40. Masinga is 40. 40 correct. megawatts. Yes. And how many, uh, how, to make it, how deep are we? From from the surface, the, the surface of the water, yeah. where Kiambere is 150 meters deep. So, come say it to 150, 150 meters. 150 meters from the surface. What's the only come and put a signal? You cannot, my friend, you cannot get seen a signal. Akuna signal. I will tell you for free. Yeah. Even the bank of Saddam Hussein yeah. was not this much deep. It wasn't this deep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't think they understand what being under 150 meters is. Yeah. Let me just show you. Come. Just come. Let me show you. Kuja. Come, let me show you what this looks like. This is what it means. No, no, no. Ukoju, obviously this is a very smooth, it's a much smoother gradient than to end up to 150 meters. But this is granite rock. Zile zenyo mnatumianga kwa etuaje kwa kitchen counter. They needed to make sure that it's structure, structurally um, strong enough to hold. It's an engineering. Well, to get a good demonstration of how much power water has, you have to wait for the once-in-a-decade swelling of the tunnel. When this happens, the spillway that is usually dry becomes a raging river. In 2019, after more than 10 years since the last flooding, the waters came with such a force, it was a spectacle.
The overflowing of the dam usually happens decades apart. But in the year when nothing was strange, 2020, it happened again. But if you're amazed by the Masinga overflow, wait till you see the Kiambero one. These waters will flow down to Kitui, Garissa and Tana River counties before draining into the Indian Ocean. There are plans to build the biggest dam ever in Tarakanithi and Kitui counties. This dam will be called the Grand Falls Dam which will supply more power and water for commercial purposes for counties downstream. It will also help in controlling the raging waters of the Tana. Apart from waterfalls, mountains, hills and valleys, Embu has a gem that many are yet to discover and explore. And we are all about hidden gems, aren't we? On the Embu Siakago Highway, we divert at Makema where our destination lies 11 kilometers ahead. Hop up on a rough road, but to be fair, it is possible by most vehicles. We cross a shallow river Thiba and voila! Wengenyu mkisikia mwea munafikiranga ni michele, lakini yo mwea iko kirinyaga, hapo ndi utapata hii, sawa? Ok? But mwea ni marambili, kuna kirinyaga na kuna embu. Now when you are in embu, you are in mwea national reserve. Twende? This 42 square kilometer reserve is sandwiched between River Tana to the south, River Thiba on the east, as well as bordering Kamburu Dam. Wildlife here is seen Kilamali basically to Kokwa on a season your tourist attraction because Kwa Gate is a zebra just grazing and going about its day. Licha Hayo, a few minutes into our drive, we see the endangered Rothschild giraffes. Wakitemwa tufua! These, these giraffes yeah, are, an, are endangered. These particular ones, when it was the Rothschild giraffes. You can easily tell the animals are thriving because there are so many young ones milling about their tall parents. It could be because this is Embu, the land of opportunities, Ama, as we learned from the guides, there's only one lone cheetah in this whole reserve. Sema Buffet. The reserve, unlike parks Kama Amboseli and Mara, which are grassland savannas, Moya National Reserve is a woodland savanna ecosystem comprising of small hills with bushy vegetation and scattered large trees. Fun fact. This small reserve boasts of having the highest population of elephants concentrated in a single area in the whole of Africa. 152 elephants call this 42 square kilometers home. However, the large trees with thick undergrowth make it hard to spot some. But as we discover, we are lucky. Kweli ndovu niku. The only open grasslands are found along the main rivers and the dam. Birds find this place to be a nice location to inhabit. Brown pelican as well as other species are also found here. Embu Kuna Beach, yes, coast you better watch out. Hippos and crocodiles are also found in the dams and rivers. So to make up after hippos, luckily we found them while going to swim pale. And we've been told upper Kamburu Reservoir, kuna crocodiles. So at a sign kiongea, no vegan angalia. 
because you never know. The Thiba River passes down this way. So, Nata Kunaka Island Pale, which marks a boundary. Ukuni KWS, and that side, the community, there's a community that lives on that side, and they're allowed to fish as long as they don't cross the boundary. And that's obvious. KWS want to preserve um, nature. It's a very peaceful place, Hapamwe Reserve. Very peaceful. And we have been so lucky. Ata tunikuambia tumeambiwa ti. Ati tume drive in and tukapata tu ma, ma giraffe. It's because of you guys. Or oh, it's not, but let's say it's because of you guys. Because ilibidi muone ma giraffe. And also we have seen elephants. We have seen warthogs. So guys, come see this place. It's undiscovered. Embu, surely you are full of opportunities and wonders. I've gone to the heights of Embu on Karoe Hill and to the depths at the waterfalls in Runyenges. I've visited the caves of Mau Mau that electrified the revolution as well as experienced power generation in the Seven Forks in Masinga and Kiambere. At Mwe National Reserve, I saw the endangered Rothschild giraffe and elephants in Embu. I also got to experience the wild in Camp Dunda. And now it is time to swing into Sagana. 